Hi, I'm Stacy from Truly Majestic. Let's learn how to felt wool roving for arm knitting yarn. When you first get your roving, you might notice some wool bits coming off and shredded areas. So straight away, we're going to fix those by stretching out the roving, even breaking it in some areas, and smoothing it back onto the main bulk of the roving. And then, wool felts by friction, so we just need to run our hand over it uh, quite a few times until it starts to stick. I'm going to run my hand through all of this roving, all the way through, find the rough bits, stick them back onto the roving, and then keep going all the way till the end, and then you come to step two. Now when I come to the end, I really like to give the ends a little twizzle because they tend to fly away and get stuck on other things and leave bits of fiber everywhere, so it's good if you stick them together. The next thing we're going to do now is roll this into a center pull ball. So I'm going to wind this very, very gently around my arm, very gently and very loose. If you do it too tight, you won't be able to take your arm out of the center at the end. At this point, I just want to say that wool felts by friction, so as I'm running it through my hands, it's very lightly felting. And then when I finish my center pull ball and pull the fibers from the center, it's also going to be lightly felting itself. Everything I'm doing, running it through my hands, putting it in a ball, and then knitting it up at the end, this all very, very lightly felts your wool. In the end, you have to do this entire process about three or four times to get lightly felted wool roving, and it's perfect for arm knitting yarn. We're going to fix this problem area just by breaking the wool, pulling it apart, and gently smoothing it back onto the roving. And then after we do that, just run your hand over it lots of times, gently, gently, smoothing it into the roving, and you will find that it just melds into one piece beautifully. Right, now we're going to knit up the entire thing. You can knit it up into a blanket, you can knit it up into a chain, crochet it up into a chain. However you want to do this, just gently pull it into whatever you want to knit. Gently, I emphasize gently, it is very delicate still. But as you knit it up, the fibers pull against each other coming out of the ball, they pull against each other going through each stitch loop, and this all contributes to them felting. Now after you've knitted up whatever you want, it's time to unravel it. And this again creates friction and contributes to the felting of the wool roving. You have to be careful, some areas are still, like I say, very delicate and you have to work on the problem areas as you go through. But in the end you'll have a gorgeous piece of arm knitting yarn. Now it's time to unravel everything. Unravel it, and then once you get finished, you start all over again, winding it into a center pull ball. And you repeat the whole process a few times. Now this is what it looks like. This part is lightly felted, and as you can see, it all sticks together. It's very kind of stiff. It doesn't drape over my finger, and it is has a lot of bounce in it. Where this other side that is not felted has no bounce, it drapes has a nice drape and it comes apart. It does not stick together and it's a nightmare to knit with. A blanket made with lightly felted roving can be hand washed with no problems and spun out in the washing machine and then laid flat to dry and it will look gorgeous.